Spooky Greetings, Code fans. I am the Code Whisperer, and today, in this next spooky Halloween Code Along, we are going to code something a little different. We're going to make a jack-o'-lantern, which is a pumpkin that has a face in CSS. That's all there is to say about it, really, so let's get started. Um, first, we are going to make a div. And we'll give that a class name, or just class, of pumpkin container. And so this is just going to hold all the parts of our pumpkin. Now I'll start by creating a div and call that pumpkin class equals pumpkin body main. Looking good. So now let's add some CSS to this pumpkin body main. We'll just start by giving it a background color of orange, a height of 300 picks, and a width of 300 picks. Cool, so it's an orange square. I don't know about this orange color. Let's look at a list of colors. Mm, web color list. Here we are. What's a good jack-o'-lantern color? This looks kind of good. BA4AOO. -O. Mm, I kind of like it when they have names, but let's just go with that. BA4A00. With a hashtag? Oh yeah! That's pumpkin power. All right, next we want to take this and make it into some kind of ovoid. Also, let's take this whole pumpkin container and move it to the middle. Mm, position absolute, left 100 picks, right 100 picks. Actually, top 100 picks. Okay, so that's cool. It is there, it's a big old orange square. Now we want this square to be an ellipse because that's gonna be the basic building block of our pumpkin. So how do we do that? Hmm, CSS make ellipse. So it looks like border radius is going to do the job for this ellipse. Let's give it a shot. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll say border radius 50%. It's just that easy. We have created a circle, a kind of pumpkin based circle. Now, what I want is I want this to be um, not quite a circle, I want it to be ellipse. Can I do that just by making the width less? Yes, bingo. So that's outstanding. Now, what are we going to do here? Because we want this to kind of be in the middle. Let's give it an absolute position. Mm -hmm. And let's give it, make it from the left, uh, I don't know, 100 pixels. That is good. So that's the start. Now we're going to make about six of these shapes to kind of make the shape of a pumpkin. So let's call this pumpkin body main left two and update this to be left two. Now Let's make another CSS rule for everything inside the pumpkin container, pumpkin container star. And we'll put this position absolute in here and this background color and this border radius. Mm 
Cool, now let's make a pumpkin body main right too. And we'll add a CSS class to be that. And we just want it to be a little bit to the right of this first one. Cool, great, that looks perfect so far. So let's make this pumpkin comprised of six of these little sections. So let's start with the left. I'll make two more and I'll call them left one and left zero. So let's define a rule for pumpkin body left one. And this is going to be farther to the left of the other, and it's going to be shorter and thinner, too. Left, mm, 50 picks, height, 250 picks, width, 100 picks. That's good. It needs to have be a little bit from the top, so top 25 picks. Yes, that's good. Now let's make left zero, the farthest to the left. So I guess it'll be left zero, top 50, height 200, width could be a lot thinner, let's say 50. Ooh, that's too thin. And let's actually make the left more like 25 pixels. Great, so you can see the shape of a spooky pumpkin starting to come out. Now let's make, do the same thing we just did for right one and right zero. I'll just copy mm, left zero, rename it right zero. Let's create a div for right one and right zero. And actually I'll start by making right one because it'll be easier to line it up. Copy the code from left one. So how far should it be from the left? 150 pixels? 250 pixels? Hmm. All right, too far. Let's try. Hmm, getting a little confused here. Let's clean up these CSS so I can figure out what's going on. Left one, left two. It's a duplicate of left two, which we don't need. Left zero. And now right one is good and right two, ooh, okay. Right two is good, right one doesn't do anything. Why doesn't it do anything? There it is, it's sort of hanging out there on the side. It's kind of just doing its thing. It's gotta be far to the left, 300 pixels. And does that look about even? That looks even to me. And now a zero size. So it'll be left 350, height 200, width 50, top 50. And it needs to be a bit farther to the left, 375. 
Nice. Spooky. So here we have the basic outline of a pumpkin. It just needs a face and it'll look very scary. So let's add some divs for that. So we'll put all these body parts in its own div. And we'll apply these child things to pumpkin body, not pumpkin container. Good. Now let's make another div and call it pumpkin face. So it's going to consist of two eyes, and then we're going to put orange on top of the eyes to make it look like it's specially shaped cutouts. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. So inside the div called pumpkin face, we'll make a div called pumpkin dash I dash left. So let's give that some style. We'll go here to the bottom of our CSS. So we want this to be a black circle, basically. So we'll say background color equals 111, height equals 50 picks, width equals 50 picks, position is absolute, left is, I know, 100, not far enough, 120, 150, too far, 120 will make it, and a bit bigger. 75 and 75. Well, I was gonna make that 80 because it's easier to do the math. Or should that be 64? How does 64 look? 64 is really easy to divide. Mm, too small. Let's call it 80. Or 100. Hmm. Bring the left over to 100. Yeah, you know, I'll just do 100, 100, and 100 here, because that's the easiest to reason with. Now we'll make it a circle. Border radius is 50%, and that turns our div to a big old circle. And we'll make the top position, how should that be, 50 picks? And that's good, I could give it a bit more, 55. Cool. Looking good. Let's take a bite of our apples, folks. Hmm. So as we know, jack-o'-lanterns don't have big round cute eyes. They have mysterious laughing sort of eyes. So to create that effect, we're going to make a, another circle on top of it that creates the illusion that it's this complicated cutout shape when really we're just using a bit of CSS and no Bezier curves. Say div class equals pumpkin eye lower eyelid and we'll define some stuff for this class we'll say the position is absolute the width is um, 100 picks height is 100 picks we'll make the background color green for now so we can see it huh and there it is it's right in a spot great um, so what are we going to do here? We'll make the top, we'll make it go way lower, like 50 picks. So it's only covering about half of it. Ooh, that looks good. You can already kind of see it's kind of a mysterious, mysterious jack-o'-lantern. And we'll give this a border radius of 50%. Now we don't want to be a perfect circle. We want it to be sort of a flat circle. So we'll make the height less 50 picks. Then we're going to line it up so that this part here, it's just kind of, just kind of goes as hard, high as it can go. Um, will 40 picks work? No. 
I guess 50 pixels was as high as it could go. But I kind of like it. That's a mysterious spooky face. So now if we make the color orange, or not orange, but rather our fill color of choice, ba 400. Zero, zero. We have ourselves a sneaky spooky eye. Well, kind of, it needs a pupil, so let's add that. We'll add another child to this, and we'll say pumpkin eye dash pupil. And we'll define some styles for it. Pumpkin dash eye dash pupil, should have copy and pasted that. Now we're gonna create a little square that looks like it's cut out from the pumpkin body here. So we'll say position absolute height is 20 picks, width is 20 picks, background color, once again green, so we can spot it. Mm, top 50 picks. It's a good start. We'll make the height way bigger, 40 and 40. And the top 25 picks. That doesn't look too bad. We'll give a left, will 50% work? No, that's too far. 30 picks. Nice. And now, can we give it a little, um, can we like turn it a little bit? That would be cool. Transform. Rotate 45. That should work. Why doesn't that work? CSS transform rotate property. I have to specify degrees. Well, that's good. Bam. So we don't want it to be 45 degrees. We just want to be a little bit, you know, kind of just off kilter and spooky. And now we'll make this our main color. Nice. Let's make that 10 degrees. Ho ho ho, spooky. Now let's define the right eye. So we'll make a new style called pumpkin I right. And here's pumpkin I left. And we're going to just make a new style rule that applies to both. Pumpkin I left, pumpkin I right. And we could have just added another class to it, but it's this is fine how it is too. So we'll take all these and put it into this joint class. And now we'll only copy the ones that apply to the bottom one, namely its distance from left. That's really the only difference that is gonna change. And now pumpkin I right should be left 200 picks, 300 picks, 250 picks. Looks about right to me. And now you can see he's kind of got this mischievous look with his eyes both looking in the same direction. Let's see if we can get the other one to um, look different. We'll make a new rule and we'll say pumpkin eye right, pumpkin eye pupil. So this rule only applies to the right pupil and it'll transform the other way. <laughs> I like it, this is pretty cool, huh? So now all it needs is a spooky smiling face and maybe a stalk if we have time. Mm, yummy apple. All right, so now we need to make the mouth. And the mouth is basically an upside down eye. It's a big circle with half a circle covering it. So we'll make a div and we'll call it 
pumpkin mouth. And we'll add some styles for it. So pumpkin mouth. It's wide. It'll have a width of 250 picks, but it's short, a height of 50 picks. We'll give it a color of black for now. Position absolute. But where is it? Did I make a typo here? I was thinking I'd see it start to appear. With type, oh, that's background color, right. There's our spooky mouth. Let's give it the same color as we had before, one and one. Now let's position it in the middle of his face. Top 500 picks. That's way too much. 200. He was eating too much. 150 is too little. 180. Too low. 170. Looks right to me. And we'll give it a border radius of 50%. And let's make the height a bit taller actually not too tall cuz we got to it's got to be arranged in such a way that the orange circle we used to cover it isn't going to cover up our eyes which could be a problem and left is 50 picks mm, 100 picks good enough that's a bit too low actually 150 good or hmm 160, looking good. Now let's add an sort of an upper top, a lip to it to make it look like it's smiling. Class equals pumpkin mouth, upper lip. Pumpkin mouth, upper lip. And let's just give it all the same properties as this because it's sort of like just an orange cousin of that. Copy in our orange color. And it doesn't want to be a child of this pumpkin mouth because it's sort of its own thing. That's looking good. We'll make another div and call it just a pumpkin mouth container to hold it all. And so this pumpkin mouth upper lip is looking good, but it needs to be a bit higher than the bottom one. So left 75. No, that's left. We actually want top mm, 140. Hey, look at that. It looks like an evil smiley face. Let's see what the best number is for that. 130, 120, 110. 110 is too much. See, we're starting to lose some of the detail on the top eyes. Mm, I kind of want it to be a bit sharper. Could I get the, could I sneak the height up there? Mm, I like it. Get the bottom a little sharper, make the bottom higher. Mm, height 100. Cool, cool, that's good, I'll take that. Let's just make the whole thing a little bit higher up. 140. And that looks good. Now he needs some little pumpkin teeth in his mouth. Not too many, just one or two to give him that mysterious jack-o'-lantern look. Let's actually just give him one. Div class equals pumpkin tooth. Now let's actually make a class for this pumpkin mouth container. And we'll put all the kind of positioning info that applies to it all in this. 
So we'll say position absolute top and left. Need the closing div. Or not. Okay, that's just some crazy code completion, not really helping me here. pumpkin mouth container and then we'll put it after all this here good now we can remove this positioning information from the upper lip we don't need top we don't need position absolute we don't need left But it's still super low. Why is that? What do we want here? We want to change the top. Zero? Negative 50. That's just weird. Are these CSS styles working at all? Yeah, they're working. Do we want to give it a position absolute? Is that the problem? Ah, look, now it's a sad pumpkin face. That's fun. Make the height a little smaller, maybe. That looks good. And now let's make the mouth just a little bit less tall. Nice. Now that's all in the container, we can style the tooth pretty easily. So we'll say pumpkin dash tooth. We'll just give it a background color of green for now. Width 50 picks, height 50 picks. That's looking good. Position absolute, left 50 picks, top 0 picks, top 25 picks. That looks good. Make the color our base orange. And give it a little rotation. Nice. So there we have it. This is basically a spooky, as spooky as it gets, um, pumpkin. We could add more teeth, but this has been going on for a while. So let's just finish it up by adding a really simple stalk. It just doesn't look right without a green stalk. And we don't have time to make a great one, but we're going to make ourselves a little stalk. So we'll put it here at the top because we want it to appear in the background of the drawing order so it doesn't show up on top of our pumpkin. And I guess it's all the way up here right in the pumpkin body. Div class equals pumpkin stock. So let's make the pumpkin stock. And the pumpkin stock actually will be green. Or let's find a color for green that makes a good stock. This one looks nice. 145A32. Background color. Four, five, a three, two. We'll give it a height and width. We'll give it a height of, I don't know, 80 and a width of 50. That doesn't look bad. We'll give it a position of absolute and a left of 150. This would be easier if we could just position it in the middle, but it's too late for all of that. And now it's kind of hiding. Where did it even go? 
There it is, now it's in its little middle. So let's make the height way bigger. Hmm, can we take this stalk out of the pumpkin body? That's good, now it's a little square, that's good. What if we give the top zero? That's really what it's got going. I want it to be higher, top negative 50. Nice, negative 40. And there you have it. It's a CSS jack-o'-lantern. Let's give this one a swarthy little angle. Transform, rotate 25 degrees. Too much, 50. I like it. So there you have it. We made a CSS um, jack-o'-lantern. There's naturally a lot more we could add. We could spend all day giving it shower, shadows and outlines. Um, there's no limit to it. So I encourage you to spend all day improving your jack-o'-lantern and then write in the comments the jack-o'-lantern you made. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Like, like it, don't light it. And I'll see you in the next video.